All right, some breaking news just into our newsroom. Minutes ago, the Ohio Redistricting Commission just approved its newest set of state Senate and House maps. Well, this comes after the fourth and final public hearing on the maps earlier today. It's been a long day for the commission and for 10TV political reporter Doug Petcash. Doug, what can you tell us about these new maps? Well, a long day, Yolanda and Andrew, but a day that did end with a decision. The uh, redistricting commission worked throughout the day negotiating, and in the end, they voted seven to nothing, a unanimous vote to approve the maps. Let's take a look at those right now. They are called the Unified Bipartisan Redistricting Maps. Leaders on both sides say they believe the maps are constitutional. The modified maps give Democrats one more seat in the House, making it a 61-38 advantage for Republicans. Plus, the uh, chance of picking up three more in the Senate, so a possibility of 13 to the Republicans, 20. Co-chair, Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio calls the maps fairer. Republican co-chair Keith Faber says the maps are the result of much mediation, discussion, negotiation, and compromise. And House Minority Leader Allison Russo says despite her yes vote, she still believes this process shouldn't be in the hands of politicians, but in the hands of the people. Now, the maps could still end up in the courts for the final decision because the last five were deemed unconstitutional. But again, the leaders on both sides of this issue say they believe these maps do hit that constitutional standard. Reporting live at the State House, Doug Petcash, 10TV News.